Hi, everybody. Today is Tuesday, March 14th, 2023. My name is Mike Zornick, and today I wanted to kind of review how I handled some code slides in a recent technical presentation I did. So um, I'm, a, I'm a programmer and I'm a teacher, and so I present slides on presentations often, um, and it's always a real pain in the neck to figure out how, how to do that. Um, I've used lots of uh, markdown oriented like slide generators in the past and they they mostly work but I, I often keep coming back to keynote because I'm very impressed with keynotes like animation tools um, for things that are not code so if I'm doing like a diagram that kind of shows off things so um, so that said if I really like keynote for its animation tools it doesn't have any really good built-in tools for handling code um, so what I'm talking about is like the actual syntax highlighting and then like how to kind of like navigate code as you're presenting. Um, and so in my most recent presentation, I, I kind of relied on this design where basically, um, I would use a tool that I've used before, um, called carbon, which is a website that basically can help you generate screenshots of very pretty code. Um, so you kind of come in here, you can choose a design, you can give it the language that you're working with. Then you can customize things like the background color, which for me, I just made transparent. Um, so there's a window, there's a bit of a box shadow, and then it, you know, designs, syntax highlights all the code. And then you can kind of like copy that image and then pull it into a keynote slide. Um, and that's obviously pretty basic and simple, but like the, the challenge then is like, as you are walking your students through the code, like how do you like highlight things? And so the way I did it, um, and I'll start presenting now is I basically use a transparent white box and then I kind of, kind of like use that to kind of like walk the code. So I start off and I'm just talking about like, this is the, the name of the file. It requires a certain path. And then like, I'll expand the box when I want to talk about two lines and, you know, and this lets me, you know, move up and down the file and then kind of talk about the code. And I really like that. And for this, I'm just using, um, just a sequential like slide. So I have the slide, I have the box, and then I have another manual, like I'm designing these steps by, by hand. Um, and I have no kind of like animations in between because this right here is a, this is a code snippet that fits on one slide and it's very easy enough just to kind of like take a single picture and kind of walk through it. But then I had the problem of like, I have files that are much larger. Um, and so I can't fit them all on one slide. And I could, you know, sit there and manually, you know, snip and create a bunch of carbon images for each little um, segment of the file, but that's a real pain in the neck. And so what I ended up doing was I would use carbon to create one file and it would be really tall. And then I'd pull it into to GitHub here and I would resize it so that I could fit the width of the window. And then um, I would animate it. So I would come in here and I would say, okay, here's our file. We start off with a name and then we talk about the on section and then we talk about the job section and I'm using the same kind of design where like I'm using this like white transparent overlay to kind of highlight the images, but I'm using the, um, the keynote animation tool magic move, which is really great. So magic move basically in the same kind of idea as above where you manually create the individual steps. So I create a step here where I've got the image and then I've got the overlay. And then on the next one, I just move the overlay and kind of make it taller. And what you do is you come under here and animate and you set up a transition you call magic move. And what magic move does is it looks at the elements on the initial slide and then on the, on the upcoming slide and it figures out the transform that needs to happen to make it uh, look smooth. And so for me, I do that. I do it over the very short duration. So like 0 0.3 seconds, cause you want these to be you know, really fast and it works great. So like I use it for both animating the, the movement of these boxes. And so as you, when you use the magic move transition, if you move the slides up, it'll like actually draw the animation. But when you hit back, it just does it like straight away. It doesn't animate backwards, which is what you want typically. Cause if you're hitting backwards during a presentation, it typically means you're trying to like <laughs> catch, go back and answer a question or something. But so it'll animate moving forward. And then as the file, like as I'm going through more parts of the file, I will just manually move the image of the code up. And so, you know, Keynote knows how to, you know, uh, 
move that file um, so it looks nice and smooth. And I really like this. I think this worked out really well. Um, it let me kind of like walk through the code and talk about it and have it look nice. Um, it's not, it is an image, so it's not copy and pasteable code from the PDF slide, which is kind of unfortunate. You could fix that by copy and pasting the code like in the presentation notes if you really wanted it to be available to people. But um, that worked out really well. And so that's Keynote, and this is Carbon. And then the other thing I kind of want to point out is there is another way you can generate um, images from your code uh, straight from VS Code. So there is a, an extension called Code Snap, and it says take brief full screenshots of your code right here, here. So I'm going to open that up, and then I'm going to open up a pane on the side. So I will uh, say Code Snap, and then Code Snap will open up on in a pane. And then as I highlight text on the editor side, it will populate that text within uh, you know the preview side. And then from within here. Um, you know, you can click uh, this little thing to kind of drag it so you can kind of get the width that you want. And then you can just uh, copy and, you know, copy it to the clipboard and then paste it somewhere, um, save it as a file. Uh, there are some settings for this. So you can go into uh, the extension settings and convert uh, things like the box shadow and some of the padding and things. Um, it says the background step of color. I'm not sure if you can make that transparent, which is something that I would want. Um, I feel, I don't know if that'll work or not, but, uh, but yeah, um, that's code snap and that's another al nice alternate way to, uh, generate images from your code. Uh, of course the styling here will pull from your VS code setting. So for me, I'm using like a custom theme and I'm using the font Mona Lisa or Mono Lisa. <laughs> um, and so that, you know, it picks up from there. So it's not configurable as the same way like carbon is, but. You know, carbon is also an option uh, for those types of things. But yeah, um, so that's how I saw showing code and walking through code in recent technical presentations. Uh, if you have any feedback, let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear your alternatives. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Uh, hope you had a good time, and <laughs> I will see you next time. Bye-bye.